Alrighty, yo you guys is Beast, back with some more Beastly content. So, I did cover this in my video over all the tips and tricks about Nip Nip, but I think I'm just going to cover it as a standalone because I'm sure it's searched very, very much. So, Faceium, how to get Faceium, the easiest way to get it. So, the easiest way is going to be making Faceium. So, the way you're going to be making Faceium is, first of all, get yourself a large refiner. You're going to need a large refiner because you're going to be needing to find two elements. You can make a majority of the items in this game when it comes to raw materials by just combining other elements. I do like that it does that in this game. Uh, and you're going to need two elements. One's going to be carbon and one's going to be dihydrogen. Uh, so first things first, I do believe my freighter is summoned. So we're going to go ahead and head on into our raw material two slot. Uh, I don't see dihydrogen actually. So it looks like we might have to do another run of raw materials myself. Oh, actually, here we go. So this is the hydrogen jelly. So in a previous video, I already covered this. It's the guide over uh, dihydrogen jelly was in the nip nip video. I covered dihydrogen jelly pretty well. And then of course we have some dihydrogen itself. Uh, but dihydrogen jelly actually breaks down, and we're going to go ahead and show you this here, actually breaks down into about 800 dihydrogen when you have 20 of them. And that's only 20, so 15 of these is going to do about 600 dihydrogen. That means that 600 dihydrogen and 600 carbon is going to give you 600 facium. So that will allow you to plant a whole bunch of nip nip buds, seeing as how you only need 50 facium for it. So this is the best method. As for carbon, carbon is something where what I would suggest doing, and there is our dihydrogen, what I would suggest doing for getting carbon is actually just to get oxygen and then go into some sort of refiner and refine some oxygen into carbon. Uh, this is the easiest way and as a matter of fact we're also going to go ahead and check our freighter uh, storage and see what we have in our raw material slot for oxygen. Uh, so I don't see any in raw materials too, we'll check the base one. O2, as you can see here, we have a ton of oxygen, uh, a ton of it, as you can see here, and that's on the starship now. We're going to go back to raw materials and take any more carbon that we have. And we also have condensed carbon, which I do believe converts into more. So, as you can see here, this is the facium method. This is how you get as much facium as you would ever, ever need. Uh, the only thing is, we are going to be short on, and we already have plenty enough, but we are going to actually be short on dihydrogen, and we are going to go ahead and get some of this oxygen converting, seeing as how we do have a couple stacks worth, or we have a whole nother stack worth of it in our freighter, uh, this should be fine to do. So, this is going to make sure that we have plenty of carbon for our facium. The unfortunate part is the maximum facium we are going to have at the end of this video uh, is going to be about 2.5 thousand facium. So this should be en more than enough facium to finish what I am working on. So we're not actually going to be expanding mycelium today. This is mycelium. I've done uh, quite a few shorts over this one. This might actually be why you all even watch my nip-nip videos. Uh, but this right here is mycelium. It's a very large scale biodome underground nip nip farm and it produces a whole bunch of nip nip. It's almost 500 nip nip. It might be at 500 nip nip now with the latest expansions that I have been working on which is an extra room here. So as you can see I need a whole bunch of facium and I plan on growing this even more. What I want to be able to do is fill an entire 10 storage set and by the way when you have your freighter nearby when you harvest your stuff which all of my farms are going to be within freighter reach and that's what I'm going to make sure of. I'm also going to upgrade my freighter's drive so that my freighter can go anywhere in the system. I just need to go upgrade my drives and I haven't done that yet. But as you can see here 1.5 so probably enough to go do the planting that we need to do. That is the facium guide. If you need more dihydrogen jelly once again all you need to do is we'll need that for future things. A ferrite dust is usually something I just like to pick up. Uh, it's really cheap and, uh, well, everybody can use a little bit more for right in their life. So, next place, let's try it. Let's see where it takes us next. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so we have been found with our nip nip bud, so we are having to run. Uh, hopefully we can get to the trade post. Here we go, engaging post drive. Well, we are free. Uh, they're not taking my nip nip today. I really should store my nip nip. So, we're gonna go check up here at a galactic terminal. We might check with a couple ships that landed here. Uh, and just see if we can't find any more dihydrogen jelly. Oh, here we go, 76. This is what I'm talking about, guys. So, 20 of these makes 800 dihydrogen. Head to the space station. Uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and pick yourself up some key items. I have covered this in a previous video. Uh, but you wanna go ahead and pick up yourself some planetary charts for commercial cartography data. Uh, you will need navigation data in order to do this. Uh, which is super easily obtainable. I do believe on sentinel planets actually high sentinel activity planets There's a chance for just actual plants to spawn for uh, some Navigation data that you can harvest daily and put your base by like I have one base right now my uh, Out I think it's like Atlas point or something. I called it uh, It was right towards the end of the game when I started it, but it's my item depot base and at that base I have uh, three of these little plants so you can do that but there's plenty of other navigation data farms this isn't a guide over that but what you're going to want to do is just go from planet to planet uh, activating these looking for minor settlements trade posts or anything of the sort and checking all the terminals checking all the tech people that you can talk to for the dealers and eventually you will find it hopefully I put a little clip here uh, right here but anyway so on to my next place and I think what I might do actually I think we're gonna just make this a short, sweet facium guide, and that's just gonna be the end of it, okay? This is facium, this is dihydrogen jelly. Uh, we will just probably reuse a clip from a previous video here, but besides that, I am out. See so you, keep it beast mode.